What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're here to talk about this Philadelphia Eagles defense. And one thing that I wanted to talk about was how to attack this Philadelphia Eagles defense. And one of the things the Niners did well was giving the ball quick and early to the playmakers and allowed them to run after the catch. Now, this formula doesn't work for everybody because not everybody has these type of players on their team, but the Cowboys do, such as CeeDee Lamb, uh, you can say Ferguson, T, uh, TP can do it, and even Turpin can do it and use his return abilities. And C.D. Lamb, Turpin, and TP is definitely uh, somebody that I have in mind as far as getting the ball, uh, giving them ball to him early and in space and allow them to do what they do best. And that was a formula. You know, they outflanked them a lot of the times. They attacked the Philadelphia Eagles not only in the middle, but on that perimeter. And they did it well and with success, which allows them to beat the Philadelphia Eagles comfortably. And this is a formula that Mike McCarthy and company can take to beat them. Another play, as far as when running the ball, that Philly did well was attacking the edges. Um, so we can attack it outside zone, crack tosses, uh, tossing the ball, just anything, counters, uh, work, anything that you can do to get this team on the perimeter will be ideal in a run game. TP and Rico. Action like this will be beautiful for Mike to use. Um, as you can see, the wide receiver pretty much taking two, boom, and he was able to go ahead and get inside. Like This was drawn up very beautifully. And I know Mike McCarthy got this in him, and this will have <laughs> this could be damn near like a money play for Mike McCarthy, especially in the middle of the field, like, I just don't see how like we don't take this concept and use this to attack the Philadelphia Eagles. It's just like perfect, <laughs> you know, you know, so we, we talk about, you know, party not throwing the ball deep downfield and yada, yada, yada. Well, shoot, man, well, you got an offensive coordinator that'll protect you and go ahead and make the game easier. I mean, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be ideal to make the game easier? And that's exactly what we're doing for Dak. And I'm sure Mike McCarthy would do this. Uh, Y'all know what time. Y'all know what time it is. Come on. One thing this team don't want to do against the Philadelphia Eagles is consistently just try to go ahead and run up the middle. I mean, the strength of their defense is right there in the heart of that D line. <laughs> he he flopped. But the strength of that defense is the heart of the D line, right there, that interior, right. So no matter if we got good offensive linemen, you know, let's make it easier for. Let's attack Ingram. Let's attack Sweat. Right. Let's attack Reddick. Also, coming up is what we was talking about in our live. As you can see with McCaffrey, right, going upfield. They got uh, the Buffalo Bills with Cook had success doing this. And also, as you can see, the 49ers had success in uh, bringing a running back upfield. You know, no, ain't no linebacker, no safety, I believe, of the Philadelphia Eagles can handle TP when it came down to being in the passing game. And so this will be something. I know this is what the, the Niners seen with Cook. And you see the little option route, right? As we was talking about, he could either go uh, inside or outside or up the field. And he chose to go up the field for a nice play. So I believe we should use this um, for TP because I know we'll be able to hit it at least one time. And even, you know, they could probably put their own little twist to it, little wheel route or something like that. It'll work especially if one of the linebackers is on TP. Also, look at the bottom of the screen. Wide receiver, I believe that's Ayuk, took advantage of the defense's inside alignment. Boom, hit him for an out and was able to complete the pass. And now the other out, which the defense um, gave up, pretty much the same thing, but the alignment was different. The, the defense was playing scared and they played all the way off and it was just easy pitch and catch. So I believe that, also, this is something that the Dallas Cowboys can take advantage of, too, right? Because, look, that secondary and that linebacker is like they were just all off in coverage. And, yes, you can see they paid the price heavy in the passing game and their tackling wasn't up to par. So, I mean, that's like a triple whammy right there. So, this is something probably also that I'm, I'm sure that we will see a lot of in regards to Mike McCarthy against the Philadelphia Eagles. As you can see, for our last... Um, play, getting to the outside. Hunter Lipke, I see Hunter Lipke getting that block, and we just attacking the outside and getting chunk runs. We'll, 
we're able to get to the outside. We've shown success in being able to do that, and our offensive line is athletic enough. So I want to see uh, Lipke, Schoonmaker, so we can go ahead and Ferguson, get a body on body, and let's go ahead and run at him on the outside, of course. <laughs> but all right, y'all, I just wanted to show you a few ways to kind of, you know, show you what we had talked about in the live. Well, as you can see, look at that play right there. <laughs> the end breaking route. Yeah, we talked about the end breaking route. I wasn't going to show that play, but you see it. The end breaking route and the lack of tackling. We can put pressure on this team all day, every day, right? Like, that was just, that's horrible tackling right there. It's horrible, horrible. And we put CD in them predicaments right there and cook. But all right, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all a few ways, as mentioned before, that we can attack this Philadelphia Eagles and have success and some things that I believe that Mike McCarthy should incorporate in his own way so we can make sure that we come out on top or at least do what we're supposed to as an offense in regards to attacking this very weak Philadelphia Eagles back end. But all right, y'all, y'all hit that like, comment, and subscribe for me, and we gone.